Hi guys. Today we're gonna to talk about the color of diamonds. Last week we went through a whole segment on clarity to help you better understand what that term actually means when you're shopping for a diamond. So today we're gonna to go with the second C being color. So a lot of people are under this um, impression or the, the perception is that the diamond has to be totally colorless and white for it to be beautiful. They come in and they say, my diamond has to be um, you know, in the colorless range and, and that's definitely non-negotiable, but there's a lot of factors that go into that and it's not always necessary to purchase something in the colorless range for the diamond to be beautiful. So we're looking over at this chart over here. This is the color scale. So it starts up at D, well it really starts at Z, and goes up to D, meaning absolutely no color. So color is graded, or a diamond is graded on the absence of color, so how white the diamond is, or, or how saturated um, in color, you know, how yellow or dark looking the, the diamond can be. So the majority of the diamonds that we work with would be between D and J color, um, the colorless range being D, E, F, and then near colorless being G, H, I, and J. So fun fact about diamonds, um, all of the shapes, not just these rounds, is that the color is actually graded through the bottom of the diamond. So when we're in the lab, and diamond grading, right, at GIA in the laboratory, um, all of the diamonds would be upside down like this, and then graded against master stone. So depending on how colorless the diamond is this way, that determines its color grade. The reason being is that depending on how well the diamond is cut, when you turn it over, um, it can either hide or you know conceal or show the color that much more or less. So it is graded through the bottom, not through the top of the diamond. Just to give you an example here, I've been showing you these two rounds the whole time. Um, this one here is actually in the colorless range at F color, and then this one is in the near colorless range at I color. So when you're looking at them, you know, next to each other, you can see that there's a bit of a difference. Um, I wouldn't say that this diamond looks dark or yellow by any means. It's cut beautifully, it's white, it's bright, and it has a ton of sparkle. Um, so, I mean, diamonds are, are natural stones. It's okay that, you know, it has a little bit of saturation to it. Um, obviously, you don't want to be dark or very yellow looking, but on its own, without being compared to that F color, um, this diamond looks great. So there's a lot of ways um, that you can get maybe a bigger stone to work within your budget if you're uh, open to sacrificing a bit on the color. So for today, we're gonna to continue to focus on eye color diamonds. Um, there's a lot of value when diamond shopping if you're interested in purchasing in, in this near colorless range. So I'm gonna work with this cushion cut now. Cushion cut diamonds can hide color really well if they're cut really well. So this is a great example of one of those. It's a beautiful, brilliant style cut cushion. Um, the crisp faceting and perfect proportions lend this diamond to conceal any hint of warmth. So if this were a crushed ice version of a cushion in the eye color range, it may potentially show the color um, a lot more easily. We actually did an IGTV recently, a really thorough one on cushion cuts and the difference between the, the different facet patterns and how they can show color differently. So if you wanna learn more about those, you can find that video and hopefully that will help you to understand the what I'm talking about with the Brilliant Cut faceting here. So next up, we have an eye color emerald cut diamond. And this one, in my opinion, definitely looks a lot more white even than the others. Um, an emerald cut diamond is a step cut stone. So the facet pattern are more of these parallel lines and the shape is um, typically known to not show color as much as other shapes would due to its cut and facet pattern. Um, these diamonds are known for their elongated shape and clear, bright faceting. So for that reason, you can't compromise too much on the clarity of um, an emerald cut diamond just because they are so transparent, you can really see into the stone. So um, that's the trade-off with these, that you can generally go lower in color, but it is um, priority to buy something in the higher clarity range. Oval and pear-shaped diamonds are a little bit trickier when it comes to shopping for an eye color. Um, 
but our ovals and our pairs are carefully selected to not have any strong visible tint of yellow to the diamond. So they'll still offer an amazing value. Um, even if they are in the, the eye color range, we make sure that our diamonds always face up white. So you're still able to purchase something maybe in the higher size range without sacrificing so much on the color that it's easily visible within the stone. All of these diamonds are actually sourced and purchased for our inventory here. So they are all available stones that we have right now. There's a 2.39 carat round here. The cushion cut that we looked at, this beautiful brilliant cut cushion is 2.15 carats, also eye color. The emerald cut is 2.02 carats. And then the oval, is 2.01 carats. So these are all really nice eye color options that we currently have in our inventory. So if you have questions about them or um, and any other diamond requests for your ring, you can always email us at info at Thanks for watching.